With the legend Bruce Springsteen currently touring, he's also releasing a new documentary and fans couldn't be more thrilled. Road Diary, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band is an exclusive doc that'll air on Disney Plus at the end of October, and it offers a behind-the-scenes glimpse of the band's latest tour. With never-before-seen footage and personal stories from Springsteen himself, there's definitely a lot to see. But what about what life is like for Bruce when he's not touring the world and performing? Well, he's never forgotten his New Jersey roots. It's said that Bruce's longtime main residence is actually a nearly 400 acre farm in Colts Neck. Bruce purchased two horse farms in this rural area of New Jersey back in the 90s and still lives in the larger of the two today, after the other one was sold for over $27 million in 2021. After being born and raised in New Jersey and growing up in a modest ranch home in Freehold Township, Bruce Springsteen always stayed true to his roots. No matter how successful he and his band became, he always kept properties in his home state. Back around 2016-2017, Bruce sold off some of his longtime residences in the town of Holmdale, including the 19th century farmhouse where he wrote and rehearsed much of his fifth album. The 6,000 square foot Homedale home where Bruce lived for five years during the recording of The River and the Heart of Darkness hit the market back in 2016 for $3.2 million after previously being available as a $5,000 a month rental. Locals affectionately referred to the six bedroom house set on a former cavalry outpost turned horse farm as Boss Acres or Thrill Hill. They knew Bruce was home when his 1960 Corvette was parked outside. The listing highlighted the property's five fireplaces, historic barn, in-ground pool, and two apartments above the heated four-car garage. And yes, as cliche as it may sound, the E Street Band really did rehearse in the garage, a true claim to fame for any future owner. Despite being a rock star by the time that he moved in, Bruce, aka the boss, lived more modestly than expected. It was reported that Springsteen paid just $700 a month in rent for the space. And those extra bedrooms, well, they weren't used for an entourage, but served as business and legal offices. Springsteen's former road manager, Nick Seguso, told his biographer, Peter Ames Carlin, that during the height of Born to Run mania, Bruce wanted a bigger house in a more remote area, a family-sized home where he could live comfortably with enough room to rehearse, possibly all night if Bruce felt like it. But that didn't mean Bruce was leaving Jersey. He reportedly still owns two properties in the Garden State, his longtime horse farming Colts Neck and a mansion in the coastal town of Rumson that he supposedly bought in 2008. Bruce Springsteen remains a music and cultural icon, but no fan base is more devoted to the boss than the one from his home state of New Jersey. The legendary rocker who's now 75 has spent much of his life in New Jersey with his wife, Patty Schialfa, 71, where they raised their three children. Though their kids, sons Evan, Samuel, and daughter Jessica, were all born in LA, the family returned to Jersey once the kids were of school age. Bruce bought two horse farms in Colts Neck, and he continues to reside in the larger of the two after selling the smaller one for over $27 million in 2021. It's at this massive estate where Bruce can unwind and live away from the public eye. The Springsteen family has owned this stunning farm since the 1990s after moving back from California. Although Bruce has owned various properties, including mansions and ranches in both New Jersey and California, this estate has been their home for decades. Before relocating to this state, they lived on a 127-acre horse farm in the same neighborhood, where Bruce's daughter Jessica first developed her love for horses. The move to the larger farm, with its proximity to stables and horses, allowed her passion to flourish, eventually leading her to become a champion equestrian. Jessica often returns to the family home to care for the horses and practice riding, and sometimes shares stunning pics of the estate's gorgeous fall landscapes. You can see the sprawling green lawns, bright autumn trees, and ample space for the horses to roam freely. 
In his autobiography, Born to Run, Bruce recalls how he first discovered the property in his 30s, saying, I'd always wanted some land near my hometown. A piece came up that I'd bike past since my 30s. I'd look down on its beautiful lane and often thought, someday. The woman who owned it was an artist and lived there until she passed. When it went up for sale, Patty and I spent a long time considering it, and then we bought it. Horses are a shared family passion, and Bruce and Patty often enjoy riding along the estate's trails together, and the couple have lived here since they wed in 1991. Colts Neck, known for its luxury equestrian estates, lush orchards, grand mansions, and affluent residents, is one of the most desirable areas in New Jersey. The impressive rural property features stables for Bruce's horses, riding areas, tennis court, and a caretaker's cottage, as well as a six-bedroom main house with luxe amenities. There's an epic Olympic-sized swimming pool, home theater, wine cellar, and chef's kitchen. The interiors blend classic and modern styles, and it's the ideal private sanctuary just a short drive from Bruce's hometown. A lakeside gazebo offers Bruce a serene spot to strum his guitar away from the crowds as well. Bruce Springsteen's New Jersey farm property shows his deep roots and his connection to the Garden State. Over the years, this sprawling Colts Neck estate has offered Bruce and his family a sanctuary away from the fame and hectic touring, closer to the horses and nature. For today, that'll wrap up this Bruce Springsteen house tour. Thank you all for watching. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!